Child, it just keeps getting messier and messier over on the Fem Rap Politics playlist where we talk about all things female war, war politics charts at all, okay? So as you can see, I want to talk about the relationship between Kelsey, Megan's friend, and Nicki Minaj and how they are using each other to get back at Meg. So please, if y'all too sensitive, do not keep playing this video. But if y'all are, let's go. So Kelsey posted Nikki the other night. Let me show you guys this. She posted Nikki on her story. Nikki posted something of um, a tour montage of her rehearsing for her upcoming tour, the Pink Friday 2 World Tour that is happening. And I'm just like, since when is Kelsey posting Nicki Minaj? Like, girl, you doing too much at this point, right? So you might think, so Kelsey can't post Nikki? Well, let's get into it. All of a sudden, you're supporting Nikki. Nikki been Nikki all her life. You just became a public figure the same time Megan did. So where was the support then? Were you talking ish about Nikki with Meg behind her back when she was making when she was making shicey decisions against Nikki after Hot Girl Summer? Y'all know, you know, Megan and Kelsey were best friends, and then she became her assistant. I could be wrong. I'm just asking questions because all these years after you're not friends with Megan anymore, I never saw you post Nikki because I've been following Kelsey. But now that she's coming at Meg, now you're posting her. And I got smoke for Nikki too. She ain't off the hook. Call it the 48 laws of power, whatever you want. Nikki is using Kelsey to agitate Meg. She's doing anything to agitate Meg, which is why she was going off. She wants to agitate Meg, her whole team and Rock Nation to make, um, what's it called? Fraudulent and unethical moves to, you know, like boost Megan, right? So that she can use that to prove her point. But Nikki said in her rant, um, when she started going off on Meg, she said in her rant, she, that she spoke to Kelsey. And so I'm thinking, what did Kelsey tell her about Meg or their situation with Tori, if anything? And Nikki, why are you now reaching out to Kelsey? But in Nikki's defense, I'm sure she feels for Kelsey at the bare minimum because Kelsey was being bullied by Meg and other friends while she was pregnant with her son, her first son. And she's also now a boy mom, just like Nikki. So she might have some more empathy for her. Also, Nikki liked the remix that Kelsey's producer made for her diss track to Meg Bigfoot. So expect that to be released in due time. You can find that if you probably scroll down on Nikki's Twitter. He is the producer. That producer is signed to Kelsey and her husband. So this is advantageous to, to Kelsey because her husband manages this producer. So they all will be getting paid by Nikki for this beat. So yay, everyone is using each other. But I just hope that they are being genuine because the optics of this look just as the opposite of that. It looks very, very messy. But I want to know what you guys think. What do y'all think Kelsey told Meg? What do you think that they're talking about behind the scenes? Separate from business because obviously they have a business relationship now to get Bigfoot and the new version out. But there's also some other things going on there with some information being exchanged. What do y'all think? But I hope this video didn't get you in your feelings too much. I'm interested in y'all thoughts and who's being used for what and who's being used better. So yeah, thanks for sticking to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Kelsey, you better be safe out there.